Summer shredding. Let's get it started. Episode one. Let's go. Let's do this. So that's pretty much how I'm looking right now. Day one of the 90 day challenge. And I am making some breakfast right now. After this day, I'm gonna start counting macros, be real strict about everything else, get on my workouts, get them done, push through them, sweat, incorporate more cardio, and uh, I'm gonna take you guys with me. And uh, I'm gonna see you guys in 90 days, see how much I transform. I'm excited for you guys are coming with me for this whole journey. Okay guys, so it's day one of summer shredding, and it's drizzling a little bit here in Glendale, California but that's okay. And day one, I am taking a day off today, it's Sunday. So I am going to start my workout tomorrow, Monday, but I'm gonna keep it clean today. Diet starts today, workout starts tomorrow. So a little bit of the competition. There's not a lot of rules. Um, the only thing I did have to do was record myself, I had to record my physique, send it in. I had to record myself watching the, the video of the contest. So I had to send that in with the physique and that was pretty much it. There's gonna be 20 winners and I'm definitely going for one of the 20. I'm actually going for the top 10. So hopefully I'm able to get to the top 10. I know there's gonna be a lot of people, a lot of people going into this contest and I know there's gonna be a lot of people giving it their hardest and just pushing themselves because everyone wants to win. So there's gonna be money involved for the prices. So I'm definitely going for the win in top 20. And even if I don't get to the top 20 guys, it's fine. I'm just doing this for myself and just to challenge myself and see how much I can actually transform within 90 days of counting macros and working out and, and just pushing myself. This is more of a mental thing than a physical thing, I feel. If you believe you can do it and you know you can do it and you know how to do it and you put it in your mind that you can do it, then you will be able to do it. So it's more of a mental thing than a physical thing. Yes, you have to push your body. Yes, you have to work out. You have to, you know, put in the work in that aspect, but you have to have the right mindset for this type of things. And I believe I do. And you just have to put yourself there and just go get it. So that's what I'm doing. And we'll see how it goes. And 90 days from now, we'll, we'll see how I look. And um, I want to take you guys on this journey with me and I want you guys to enjoy it, just how I'm gonna enjoy it, so. Summer shredding. Good morning. It is March 6th, Monday. I just weighed in at 177 pounds, feeling good, making some breakfast, counting my macros. Today I am going to have eight ounces of chicken with some Ezekiel bread, Greek yogurt, um, and some veggies for lunch. For breakfast, I'm having some ground turkey and a wheat tortilla. Mmm, summer shredding, here we go. Guys, the hardest part is counting macros, but after two weeks of doing it, it becomes easier, and you're able to eyeball things a lot easier, so. The first two weeks, first couple of weeks, is the hardest. Cheers, it's man. so tight how it sits there. Cheers, man. I know, right, it's good. 90 days. 90 days. <laughs> you like, <coughs> like the ring, remember the ring, have you seen the ring? <coughs> So you feel confident about this? Yeah. You got this? I got this. 90 days, muchacho. 90 days. You got it. You got it. What do you think? It's delicious. 90 days. Well, you're going to miss out on St. Patrick's Day shenanigans. Oh, that's true. You're going to miss out on a few little things, but you'll gain it here, mm -hmm. here, and here. And if you're lucky, yeah. down here. <laughs> it's hard, guys, but it's a challenge. So it's a challenge, so. Yeah. You got this. You got this. Being mentally strong, too. Mind over matter. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I'm also adding two servings of Optimum Nutrition Whey Protein. I'm gonna drink this uh, sometime dur during the day today. So it's two servings, about 44 grams of protein in here. That's gonna fill in the gaps of my protein intake throughout the day. And uh, protein, guys, it's just a supplement. You have to supplement it between your meals. You can't try and get all the protein from protein powder. You have to make sure to try and get all your nutrients from actual whole foods and just fill in the gaps with protein and all the other supplements that you're taking. This helps out to fill up and to reach my protein intake during the day. And yeah, I'm about to get ready to take off for the day. What's going on guys? I got Humberto here, Road to Recovery. Road to Recovery. Road to Recovery, you follow him. 
follow his Instagram. He's gonna start doing videos as well. Okay, I'll link it. <laughs> Subs just, it's gonna be in the bottom and the description box. I'm shaky because I'm just finished my finishing my workout, so my camera's like shaky. But anyways, we're gonna do a collaboration in the future. But he's also doing the 90 day challenge with Chris and Guzman. So we're competing right now yeah. to see who comes out on top. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, but this guy has a story. He has he had a freak accident and he had a bunch of surgery done and it's crazy follow his YouTube channel once he starts vlogging we're gonna collab later on but he's got a story and he's out here putting in the work grinding so I can't wait to start collaborating with this guy it's gonna be fun say out say peace out catch you guys later man so there you have it guys that's road to recovery I met him a few months ago at the gym because he had a CG fitness shirt on he told me his story and it's cool that he's out there you know training and he has no excuse he was in a bad accident and he's out there there's absolutely no excuse for you not to be healthy and be active. Being lazy is not an excuse. Because you don't want to do it, it's not an excuse. Okay, unless you're like physically impaired and, and you physically can't work out, you have no excuse. And we're gonna collaborate sometime next week, I think. So I just finished my first workout for summer shredding. It was draining, for sure. I was doing high knees after every set. Whew, that got me. But I felt like this workout took me a little longer than I want, and I don't wanna take too long for the workouts. I think I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I think I'm gonna do three sets instead of four sets. So I'm just gonna do minor tweak to the workout just to take less time, but I'm gonna increase the weight. It'll still be the same effect, and I'm still gonna get it done. So I'm gonna shredding. Hey guys, so I'm gonna catch you guys up on the macros I'm gonna follow for this challenge. I'm gonna do 185 grams of protein, 200 grams of carbs, and 65 grams of fat for now. I weighed in at 177 this morning, and as I start dropping down in weight, I'm gonna start dropping down my macros as well, so I could continue shredding. I'm gonna follow this for now, maybe in about a month, depending on where my weight's at, I'll see if I change my macros and go down. And I'm just really excited about this uh, this whole challenge, guys. It's something I've never done. I've never committed to something for 90 days uh, on being so strict. I've never really done that. You know, I'm into fitness and I work out and I like working out and I've followed macros before. I've counted my macros before and it's worked for me. I've seen results counting macros and it works really well. But this challenge, 90 days of just continuously following macros and just trying to shred it's um it's a, definitely a challenge but i'm up for it and i'm excited for this because it's not only going to challenge my my physique it's going to challenge my mental state and just the ability to overcome things this time around i don't want anything to distract me i don't want anything to get me out of the zone i want to be able to stay focused on the task at hand which is shred within 90 days but i know because it's a life things are gonna come in and you know things happen i know there's things that are gonna happen and that are and that might make me you know try to get unfocused and not continue counting my macros or not being as strict that is the challenge for me that's the challenge for me right there to be able to do this no matter what happened, no matter what life throws at me, I want to be able to stay focused no matter what. And this is going to be a new series, Summer Shredding. That's what it's going to be called. Summer Shredding and whatever the episode's called, that's what it's going to be called. So this is episode one. I started this six months ago. I started the brand six months ago. Six months ago, I've been doing videos and pumping out content. Six months ago, I created everything. And now here we are, Summer Shredding. It hasn't been easy, guys, but this is just the beginning. Trust me, this is just the beginning. You guys haven't seen anything yet. These 90 days are going to be life-changing for me. And you can do it too. Challenge yourself. Do a 90-day challenge. Do a 30-day challenge. Why not? It's only going to make you better. It is. It's going to make you a better person. Fitness changes people's lives. If you don't believe that, you should give it a try. If you're not into fitness or working out or just being healthy in general. As I'm doing this challenge, I'm also going to be working on stuff for ZooFit. I'm still going to be designing things. I'm still going to be working on that. That doesn't stop. The grind doesn't stop. You have to work as hard inside the gym and outside the gym. I'm creating things right now. I'm making things. I'm designing things. I'm thinking. I'm always thinking about what I can do next. What's the next step? What's the new design? You have to stay focused. You have to think ahead. Especially in the world we live in now, you have to be able to do things that others aren't willing to do. You have to be able to sacrifice things. I don't like waking up early in the morning. I don't. I hate it. That's one of my worst things. I've never liked it. I'm not a morning person. 
I hate it. But I'm going to have to start waking up earlier now. Sometime this challenge, I'm going to have to wake up early and do cardio to speed up the process of burning fat and losing that fat from me. I'm not doing that yet, but I will do that. Sometime this this challenge, maybe in, a, and maybe in 30 days, I'll start doing that depending on how I look. If I don't look how I want to look in 30 days, if I'm not seeing a significant amount of change, I'm going to have to wake up early, do my cardio, eat my breakfast, then take off for the rest of the day. Do I want to do that? No, I don't want to wake up early, you know, earlier than I already have to wake up. It sucks. But if that's something I have to do, then I'm going to do it. If whatever you're doing now is not a challenge for you, then you have to change it up and challenge yourself. If it's too easy, it's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to change you. It's not, nothing's ever going to happen if it's too easy. If things are too easy for you, then nothing's going to change. It has to be a challenge for yourself. You have to challenge yourself every once in a while to grow. And that's just the way it is. Look at every successful person out there. You think they got there just from luck? No, they work to get there. They challenge themselves. They risk things. So the next 90 days or 88 days now, the next 88 days are going to be a challenge for me. And this is day one of working out and following my macro strictly. But the next few months for me are going to be a challenge. And I have to be able to stay focused. And that is a challenge right there. Because I know I can work out. I know I can go to the gym. I love going to the gym. And eating clean, that's the hard part. And staying mentally focused. So those two things right there, eating clean and staying mentally focused are the real challenge. And waking up early when I'm going to have to wake up early. But other than that, it's going to be fun. And I can't wait to see the results I'm going to get at the end of this challenge. And just to see how I look. From the beginning of this video that you saw to the end of this challenge when it ends. That's what I'm looking forward to the most, to see how I look and see how much I transform and to see how much I can actually do within 90 days. I'm going to end it here, guys. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys on the next episode of Summer Shredding. Okay. Uh, okay. That's it. All right. Peace out. Zoof it out.